Primo and I am back with another video and I have missed you guys so much. You have to watch my update video so you can know everything that has been going on with me and why I haven't posted in over a week. Anyway, so this is a highly requested video um, but, it all, but it's also something that I wanted to try out for a while on my channel. Okay, so a lot of people ask me what can they do to prevent their skin from getting super oily when they have on makeup because they already have oily skin. My advice is always to use oil free products, get a good primer like Becca, um, make sure that you drink and you stay hydrated, and also use milk of magnesia. Um, However, they're still like, yeah, I do all those things and my face is still super oily. So we're going to try something to out together today, okay? We're going to try a Korean hack, a Korean beauty hack called Gem Su, I believe. And it is basically when you do your foundation, your primer foundation, all that stuff, you stick your head, no, you dunk your head in a bowl of cold water and this should make your makeup stay on a lot longer it's gonna prevent your skin from getting super oily if you have oily skin and it's also going to make your makeup look flawless i wouldn't advise you to do this video to do this korean beauty hack if you have um super dry skin okay this is really really good for people who have oily skin well let's get right to it so i decided to use my becca primer my MAC um, Studio Fix Foundation in NC50 with my all-time favorite beauty blender, the e.l.f. Cosmetics Beauty Blender that I have been using for a long time now. So let's get to it. Let's run through this foundation look really quickly, guys, because this is not about the foundation, okay? So first, I'm going to put on my primer. I'm using the Becca Primer. And then I'm going to add my foundation. The foundation that I'm using is by MAC Cosmetic. It is the Studio Fix Foundation in NC50. NC50 is my shade, y'all. I remember my first foundation was NW45. And um, the MAC girls lied. I am NC50. Then I'm going to take my concealer. The concealer that I'm using is from Kitsuko Cosmetics and the shade is in dark and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid's bow, as well as my chin. And then I'm going to blend it out using the e.l.f. Cosmetic Blending Sponge and this is the size medium. The sponge comes in three sizes, guys. A large, which is this one, a medium, and a small. And I'm just going to use that size and blend it out. Now let's contour, baby. I am using Anastasia's Beverly Hills Contour Stick Foundation in Earth. This is my go-to. This is my baby. I love it. And then I'm going to use the large blending sponge from elf cosmetics and i'm going to blend that out now when you are blending your highlight and your contour you want to take your time because nobody wants to see harsh lines in your makeup that's not cute so just take your time and just blend everything out so it's nice and seamless then i'm going to take the medium size elf sponge and i'm going to blend out the contour that I applied on the side of my nose. And when I tell you this is like the perfect fit, it fits so beautiful and it blends it out so well. Well, that's it for my foundation look and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. I have completely finished my foundation, highlight and contour. So now I'm going to set my entire face using the Black Opal Setting Powder in Medium. This one is a deluxe finishing powder. It says it diminishes shine, it's naturally a matte finish, and it's hypoallergenic. All right, so I'm gonna put number three all over my face. I've seen people use um, baby powder, which I'm not gonna use baby powder on my skin because I feel that baby powder is one, it's way too light for my chocolateness and it's going to give me a flashback that's what i think and i don't have the time to try it out because today is tuesday and i'm trying to go to the movies because on tuesdays the movies are only six dollars so i ain't trying to look crazy going to the movies okay so i'm using a powder that it's closer to my skin tone and i'm going to put this all over 
And I've seen people put a lot of powder, but I'm not gonna put a lot. I'm taking my sponge and I'm going to just apply that powder kind of everywhere. Chris, can you help me get the water ready pretty please? All right, let's emerge our face in some cold water. supposed to be for 30 seconds i Eight got through seconds. 11 11 seconds okay yeah fuck that yeah 11 one two three <laughs> i can't fucking hold my breath <laughs> okay one more time for 10 seconds okay Oh my breath. That's just gonna have to stay wet, look y'all. Honestly, it looks really good. But the color of the setting powder is like a little orange, it's from Black Opal. So I don't know if that's making it look kind of weird, but yeah. Okay, Chris, thank you. I think I'm gonna pat some, cause I see some people pat the water away. Very lightly pat. I'm not gonna lie it looks like it's put like on camera it looks a lot more orange than it is now I'm going to take a blending brush a face powder brush and I don't know if it's dry yet but I'm gonna start wiping off the setting powder now It doesn't feel tight like my face feels really refreshed like even though it looks like I have on like a full matte beat it feels extremely light like it feels really good like it feels really good I don't know it feels very light let's keep wiping it I think I definitely made a mistake with the color of setting powder I use but once I roll the video back, it might not look bad. And it's very easy to wipe away the remaining setting powder. Oh my God. Okay, I am not, I'm trying not to feel like it's the most amazing thing ever. I'm really trying to give an honest feel and review. But my face feels so soft. Like the makeup, oh my God feels amazing there you go I have on a lot of lip gloss y'all look at my skin oh my god tell me it doesn't look good guys seriously Look at the only thing I did do is when I was doing my eye makeup, I put a little bit of setting powder underneath my eyes, um, so that way the eyeshadow wouldn't fall on my makeup. But that's it. Other than that, I haven't done anything other than put on my highlight and my um my blush. That's it. I'm not even playing no games. Like when I get my makeup clients, they gotta dunk their head in some freaking cold water. Because this thing works like I use, and even the setting powder that I use worked really really well I thought that it was going to be um I thought it was gonna be too orange but it's not it's like you just have to believe in the process Whew. 
anyways guys i really hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something i really hope you try this out because it really really works i don't think you should do it with baby powder though i don't think baby powder is gonna work like i'm gonna have to give myself like 10 more minutes when i do my makeup so i can dunk my face in some cold water i have not gotten i have not gotten oily at all for all my oily girls out there try this i have not gotten oily now i don't have the oiliest skin however my t-zone gets extremely oily and it is not oily at all guys so try this out if you have oily skin. I really think it's going to work for you. And then leave me some comments down below if you have tried this Korean method. It is amazing. With that being said, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment down below. And always turn on your notifications so you will be notified every time I upload a video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!